Next principle I want to talk about actually relates to a company right here in Silicon Valley. At the time, this would have been 1987, there was a company called Forthought. And we were doing word processing and spreadsheet, and that was kind of the obvious things to do in applications. But I found us doing a lot of overheads. We had a lot of overhead projectors. It was a common way of communicating. So I thought it would be very cool to have software that did overheads. And so we bought a, a company called Forethought, and their product, can you guess? PowerPoint. PowerPoint. It was the PowerPoint product. Now, one of the important things I want to emphasize is that we just thought it was cool to have software to do overheads. If you had asked me in 1987, when I, five or ten years later, walk into a conference room, plug my computer into a projector, and project a presentation, I would have thought, well, that's a cool idea, but it's not very likely to happen. We didn't have that vision. We didn't see that that was the way the world was going to be. But we just thought it was cool to do software for overheads. It was a part of what people did in information work, so we made the bet. And today, PowerPoint is one of the most commonly used applications. Uh, around, around the world. There's a very important principle here. One is that when you're involved in something like information work, um, and I think this is probably true for most, most parts of uh, most businesses, you have to really listen to your customers. But even more important, you probably have to see beyond what your customers do. Let me give you, a, for what might be even a more powerful example, how many of you have ever used print preview? Okay. I'm surprised not 100%, but pretty close to 100%. You probably won't believe how print preview came into existence. In May of 1985, as we were finishing Microsoft Excel on the Macintosh, there was a programmer named Steve Hazelrig who was doing the printing code. Now, Steve was a very, very good programmer, but he didn't really, laser printers were very expensive, and it was way down the hall, and he didn't really want to have to go down the hall <laughs> and get the, the, the printout. So what did he do? He wrote a routine that displayed the spreadsheet on the screen with a little magnifying glass so he could go and check it pixel by pixel. Jake Blumenthal, the program manager, meaning the designer of Microsoft Excel, came by and said, Hey, Steve, that's really cool. We ought to make that a feature. And that's how Print Preview became a part, not only of Microsoft Excel, but all of our applications. Why did I tell that story? Because no customer ever asked us for Print Preview. It was never a request on the feature list. Yet, because Jade was so intimately involved with what people did with spreadsheets, he knew our customers would love that. And that's one of the most important principles I would suggest to you about entrepreneurialism. You need to listen to your customers, but even better, you need to see beyond them. You need to see beyond what they're doing today to imagine what they might do in the future.